Hi guys! I wanted to read you guys a really cool book today that is called Baby Sister. And it's really cool because look, this guy got a baby sister, just like you guys did. You guys have baby Natalia. Um, this story is really cute. And on the inside, there's a little message and it says, For Bonnie, love from Chelsea on your first birthday, May 4th, 1990. X O X and that means kiss hug kiss so I got this book when I was a one-year-old kid and I was very tiny <coughs> see look he's in his house and he's putting his toys away in the toy box the Sun was setting behind the mountains Benito put his dump truck in the big box near the kitchen door. Then he went inside. Look, that's his mom. And look, his mom has, she's going to have a baby soon because she's pregnant. And that's Benito. And the mom was cooking dinner. Mama was cooking supper. Papa would soon be home. After supper, Papa always played games with Benito. At bedtime, Mama and Papa took turns reading him stories. Mama always kissed him goodnight. Benito was very happy. Oh, look! She had the baby! Look, that's the little baby! She just came back from the hospital. He was not so happy when Mama had to go away for a few days. Mama was not gone long, but when she came back, she had a tiny baby with her. Papa said, Benito, this is your new baby sister. Her name is Alita. Aw, look at little, the little baby's crying. She's so sad. And look, the dad's got a baby bottle, and the kid's not very happy. Hmm, that's, that baby's probably really loud, but that's, that's okay. That's how babies are. From the start, Alita cried. She cried when she was hungry, she cried when she was wet, she cried when she was sleepy, and sometimes she cried just so someone would hold her. She kept Mama and Papa very busy, too busy to spend much time with Benito. Aw, oh, that's sad. But babies take a lot of work. Oh look, now here he is. Benito's playing in his bedroom. Look, he's got his little book, little animals on it, he's got a teddy bear, and and he's got his little, his trucks, they're all lined up, and he's got little blocks. It says, now Benito had to be quiet all the time. He had to play alone in his, uh, he had to play alone in his room when the baby took a nap. He couldn't be very loud because the baby needed to go to sleep. See, look, there's the mom, and she's putting the baby to, to sleep, and there's the crib. And there's the little kid, there's Benito. But sometimes Benito forgot to be quiet. One day he ran into the house and slammed the door. Mama, he shouted, come quick, there's a bird in the apricot tree. Mama said, hush Benito, I'll come out when Alita falls asleep. See, look, they went to the airport. There's Benito, and that's his grandma, and that's his dad. And then look, there's the airplane taking off gone. One evening, Papa and Benito drove to the big airport. Grandma was going to come for a visit. How happy Benito was to see Grandma. Grandma hugged and kissed him. Benito, she said, you've grown. You're such a big boy now. I hope the shirt I bought fits you. Oh, look at the Grandma. She's so happy. She gets to see her new granddaughter. And look, that's the crib. That's the baby the mom and the dad and Benito. They sang songs all the way home. But as soon as Grandma saw Alita, she seemed to forget about Benito. And she had brought a big, and she had brought a great big box of clothes for the baby. She was so happy. Oh no, she did not pay any attention to Benito. Now he's sad. <coughs> oh look! The dad and Benito, and they're outside. And oh, what's that? It's a little kitten, and it's so cute. Oh my goodness, I like that kitten. 
The next evening, Benito heard something outside behind the house. It sounded like a baby crying, but much quieter. Benito called Papa, and together they went to look. They found a small white kitten sitting all alone under a bush. Her blue eyes looked very frightened. Mew, 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 she cried. She was very sad and scared. Look, now he's holding the little kitten. Aw, that's so cute. Benito asked, Why is this cat so small? She's a baby, like Alita, Papa replied. Where's her mother? Benito asked. Sometimes kittens get lost, said Papa. Please, Papa, please, can I keep her? Benito asked. You would have to feed her and keep her warm and clean her litter box. Are you big enough to do that every day? Papa asked. I think so, said Benito. Look, now they're all at the dinner table. So the dad and the grandma, and Benito and the mom, and oh look, there's baby Alita, and she's a little in the little basket. And right there under the table, there's the kitten. Oh, it's so cute. At supper that night, Benito and Mama and Papa and Grandma all tried to think of names for the kitten. Grandma said, the kitten should be called Blanca. That means white. But Benito did not like that name. Papa said, call your kitten Snowflake. But the kitten did not look like a snowflake to be. But the kitten did not look like a snowflake to Benito. I would call her Preciosa, Mama said, because you will learn to love her more and more every day. She will become precious to you. I will call her Preciosa, Benito said. Oh, that's such a great name. Look, he's feeding the little kitten with an eyedropper and a little blanket and giving the little cat milk. That first night, they fed the kitten with a medicine dropper. Then they wrapped her in it. They wrapped her in a blanket and had her warmed near the fire. In a few days, Preciosa oh, in a few days, Preciosa was drinking her milk from a dish. Soon, Mama was helping Benito open cans of cat food for her. Look, now Benito's sleeping, and oh, look, she's getting so much bigger, and she's licking him right on the face because she loves him. Each morning, Preciosa awakened Benito. First, she licked his face with her rough tongue. Then, she nudged him with her head. Finally, she poked him with her paw. She seemed to be saying, Get up and feed me right now. Oh no, now Alita's still crying. And the kitten's crying at the same time. That's going to be very doubly loud. With Preciosa meowing for her breakfast and Alita crying for her cereal, the kitchen got very noisy. And look... Now look, he's cleaning up the kitty litter box, and she's drinking her milk. While Preciosa ate, Benito cleaned her litter box. See, look, the mom is feeding the baby, and has got a little, little blanket, and that's for when the baby burps up the milk. And then look, there's the baby bottle, and there's the little kitten, and he's going to give her some milk. Oh, some water. He's going to give her water. When she was finished eating, Benito carefully washed her dish. Then he left fresh water in a bowl for her to, to drink during the day. Look, the mom is so tired. Now she's, she's, taking, a, she's taking a nap in the rocking chair. And he's lying on the floor. And oh, look, the kitten is, is sitting on top of him. Benito loved Preciosa, but she did need a lot of care. Usually, it made Benito happy to be busy caring for his kitten. But sometimes, Benito got tired, just like Mama. And look, now, looks like maybe the baby's going to be getting a little bit bigger soon. And now he's talking to the kid. One day, Mama lay down to rest. Just then, Alita started to stir. Benito went to Alita's cradle and started to rock her very gently. Then he sang some of the songs that Mama always sang. Alita started cooing. That was her way of singing along. Soon, she was asleep. Look, he's being very helpful. He's, put, he's helping the mom put all the clothes out, like that, on the line. So it's shirts, and looks like either onesies or diapers. There's pants and towels and 
socks. And look, they have a washing machine and detergent. And he's helping her. They're folding the clothes and they're putting them away. That afternoon, Benito saw Mama struggling with a heavy basket of wet laundry. He grabbed one handle and helped carry the basket to the yard. He handed Mama the wet clothes one at a time, and she hung them on the line to dry. Later, Benito helped fold the dry clothes. He put his socks and underwear neatly in his drawer. That was very good of him, because she was really tired, so now she needed lots of help. And look, he's going to go to sleep. So, the, there's the kitten, and then the mom and dad are saying goodnight. That night, Mama said, You're a wonderful boy, Benito. Thank you for helping. Papa said, I'm proud of you, son. You're really growing up. Oh, wow, look how big, look how big Preciosa is. She's getting so big. Over the long winter, Benito watched Preciosa grow into a plump white cat. She was learning to take care of herself. She liked to chase mice in the yard. Look, she's chasing the little tiny mouse and she's going to catch him. And look, oh, now they're going for a walk. So the mom and the dad, Benito, and look, there's Alita and she's so much bigger now and she's in a stroller. Alita was growing too. By springtime, she could sit up, smile, and go for outings with the family on Sunday afternoons. Benito was allowed to push Alita's stroller around the plaza in the center of town. Alita looked all around and made funny sounds. Benito was proud of Alita. And now he's feeding her. See, she's sitting in the high chair, and she's wearing a bed, and she has a little teddy bear, and he's going to give her some food, because he's awesome, big older brother. Alita still needed a lot of care. Benito learned how to feed her, how to give her a bottle, and play her favorite games. He liked the way she smiled whenever he was near. Benito loved his baby sister. The end. Say bye. Bye. Love you guys. Bye from Auntie Bonnie.